Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. I thank you so much for clicking it and for watching and for commenting. So the next videos that I'm going to do, this is in response to the comments, the questions that I've received about LPN RN online programs. LPN BSN online programs. So I'm going to make videos on colleges or universities that I have been in touch with. I have personally been in touch with them. No matter the state that you are in, I highly and strongly recommend that um, you take the information in the video description and do a follow-up. If you make up your mind on one of them and you want to move ahead, but you would want to um, seek a personal or one-on-one, -on -one, you know, information that could guide you and you want to talk to me, when you look in the video description, you will find information how to get in touch with me. I will make time with you. If you follow the links, I will make time talk to you. If it's 30 minutes, if, if it's one hour, even if it's more than that, and see where you are, your life situation. And based on my experience, I will suggest, suggest things um, that can help you genuinely. Okay, so today this video is on Samson Community College. Samson Community College is in North Carolina. It's in the city called Clinton. So when you come to the bottom here, the city name is Clinton, North Carolina. They always use uh, a PO box as an address. I don't know why they don't have an actual physical street name or something anyways let's move on um they have lpn to bsn program and the school is accredited so on their website somethingcc.edu you'll find all the details that is in this video so they are accredited by ACEN, ACEN, that's the accreditation, which is in Atlanta, Georgia. Accreditation Commission for Education in Nursing, ACEN. Now there's two nursing um, accreditation that I know of, and ACEN is one of them. So whether it's ACEN or the other one, either one of them is okay. Always make sure you are attending a nursing school that is accredited. If not, you will waste money and your transcript will not be accepted in about 99.999% colleges and universities. Please take note of this important information. Make sure the school is accredited. Take your time, go on their website, click on every link that you can find. Email the admissions, let them send you the link, the accreditation link, so you will read what accreditation board they are affiliated is very important don't throw money out without checking this important fact all right let's move on so as you can see they have they have lpn they have associate degree in nursing which is two years they have lpn to adn online so you, you see it says degree type 
degree. Program type is a degree and the format is online. The, you are able to get grants and scholarship. All right, so here it lists information about how to apply. I've applied to this college before. That was back in 2020 when I, when I had relocated from Tennessee to North Carolina. That time they had an entrance exams. The entrance exams name is called NACE 1, N-A-C-E, NACE 1. As, I, as of today, I guess 13, as I'm making this video, I was reading on their website and I can see that they've changed it. I don't, I no longer see the NACE 1. I'm seeing ATI. I'm seeing ATI. So here I've listed, I have listed NACE 1 on my notepad here, but they could have changed it to ATI because I saw it. NACE 1, you can get resources from mometris.com, a study guide, flashcards to study for it, just in case you call and they are still using NACE 1. If not, ATI resources, ATI resources are everywhere from eBay to Amazon that you can get to uh, prepare yourself for their, uh, what do we call their entrance exam. So this is the, this is the link samsoncc.edu slash students slash testing. You can find all the entrance exams that needs to be taken information from here. Now, Ashley Register is your contact person. If you need further information about this school, call this number and ask for Ashley Register. 910-900-4013 and this is her email. I will leave all this information in this video's description. A register at samsoncc.edu and the dean for this program, this associate degree program in this school, her name is Dr. Veronica Stevens. I've spoken to her on the phone before way back in 2020, I mean 2021, she's a very pleasant lady. You can call her number. She's a very busy person. She may pick up, she may not pick up, but you can email her. This is her email, v, v like victory, vstevens at somethingcc.edu. She is your main, uh, person that can truly give you every detail of the program. Now, if you live in North Carolina, I think you can really benefit from this, um, this uh, program. If you don't live in North Carolina, don't be discouraged because I think there is a way for you to still do it if you are determined. So call Ashley, tell them what state, which state you are in, okay? Your licenses as an LPN has to be in a compact state. So Google, go to google.com and search if where you live, your state is a compact state. You need to, as an as you need to know all these things, okay? You need to know all these things. So call Ashley, Ashley tell her, the state that you are in and let her know your intention about this. And you have up to January 14, I believe, to get application in. If you are interested in, let's say 2024, you want to get into that program, your application must be in by January 14. Yes, from my memory, but we'll go to the website and see what that what information they um, talk about there. 
So endless pain, ATI is your entrance exams currently that they are using because it keeps saying that. And then talking of prerequisites that you need when you when you um, read this page here, you will need a CPR card. And those of you, if you know you need CPR, let me know. I'm a BLS instructor for American Heart Association. I can help you renew your BLS card online. You will need to have it sent to them, you scan it and send it to them. And then you must have worked 2,000 or more hours from a skilled nursing facility. Remember, if you've been working in a home health, it doesn't count. If you've been working in um, assistant living, it doesn't count. In private duty setting, it doesn't count. It has to be either in a hospital for 2,000 hours. I don't know how many years that should be, but it has to be 2,000 hours. Yes, a lot of schools here in North Carolina, I couldn't get in, though everything that I had was okay. But this 2,000 hours from a skilled nursing home was what stopped, what blocked my chance. Because I transitioned from private duty nursing, um, home health nursing, to assistant living from 2018. I started working in assistant living. They said it doesn't count. It has to be a skilled nursing home, not assistant living. That's how strict they are with these requirements. Yes. It says there are no exceptions to these requirements. Clinics, infirmaries, doctors, office, hospice, prisons, and home health care do not meet this requirement, you see? So it's written in bold letters. You don't need to ask them. They will tell you no. And then they say that wherever your transcript is coming from should be from a regionally accredited institution. A regionally accredited institution. Usually, I tell people, get your prerequisite done through the cheaper route. And one of the some of the cheapest route is using sophia.org, sophia.org. Sophia will, um, they have affiliation with a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, colleges and universities. Yes, you get ACE credits, sophia.org. They are, they are, you see, online college level courses for $99 a month. You get ACE credit. It says no credit card required. The American Council on Edu Education's College Credit Recommendation Service, ACE, has evaluated and recommended, recommended college credit for over 60 of Sophia's online courses for college credits. So uh, some colleges will accept your credits if you get it from here, but some colleges will not accept. It all depends on the school. It all depends on the school. Some will accept, others will not accept. Okay, so there are about three or four websites where you can do your prerequisites very very cheap however you need to contact the school first and make sure that they accept credits from these platforms i'll make a separate video for them and explain in details so one is sophia.org the other one is straighterline.com. The other one is modernstates.org. And then portagelearning.com. 
portagelearning.com. Now, of all these that I've mentioned, portagelearning.com is in affiliation with Geneva College. Geneva College is an is a regionally accredited college university, if you want to call it. It's a four-year college accredited. It's a regionally accredited school in Pennsylvania. And Geneva uh, Portal Learning is in affiliation. So whatever course you take as a prerequisite with, with Portal Learning, you will receive transcript that will be accepted by every school, no matter what. However, it is expensive, just like you are attending normal college. Just the difference is that you are doing it at your own pace, at your own time. The others are very cheap. The others are very, very cheap, but they may not be accepted by the school that you desire to go. So always find out from the school before you, you invest your money and take the course there that it will not be accepted. Yes. So contact Ashley. That's Ashley Speecher right there. Administrative assistant. So her name is here. And everything. This information here tells you how to register for the exam. When to arrive. IDs to show and everything. The entrance exam has to be taken inside the school. And when you get accepted into the program, all examination will be taken on campus. So your didactic is online, but on exam day, you come to the campus. So if you live outside of North Carolina, this is where the challenge is. It's a two semester program. Okay. So let's say if you start in August, by May of the following year, you'll be done. It's a two semester program, very vigorous. Yes. And the entrance exams is not easy. I failed it. And you have only one chance in a year. You can only do it once in a year. If you pass, they keep it for three years. If you don't pass, it has to be the following year that you can uh, retest. So here they're talking about ATI. So if you call Ashley, she may confirm that they've changed from NACE 1 exams to ATI exams. You look for study guides from eBay to Amazon, prepare yourself very well because you have only one chance at it. You can't do it multiple times, only one chance. You have to go to the campus to get it done. You have to travel to the campus. So they have the LPN to ADN advanced placement where they put you in the summer time during their associate degree program. So you will finish on time. You don't have to spend two years doing it. They they also have their own requirement and everything that you must meet. So these are the courses that they expect you to have. Either you have it or you're going to take it during the two semester um, program. So developmental psychology, general psychology, anatomy and physiology one and two. You have to choose one of these humanity, music. So I already had introduction to music from one community college in, in Tennessee where I relocated from. And then English 111. You can see it's all here. All right. So contact Ashley, the phone number, the email. Contact me, Dr. Veronica Stevens, and I believe they can take it from there and help you. You are to get um, 144 hours of clinicals. Yes. So let me read an information. Yes. So there's an information here. It says that it's a a hybrid formatted LPN ADN program. It requires two semesters to complete. So the didactic, as I said, is delivered primarily online, but you have to come to campus periodically, three to four days each semester for orientation, for orientation and then for exams. 
you must complete 144 clinical practice hours at an approved practice site within North Carolina. Now, it says within North Carolina, but if you don't live in North Carolina, they are able to work with you. If you are in another state, you just have to uh, let them have the name of the nursing home that you want to do, skilled nursing home that you want to do. You have to have a, a someone with bachelor's degree in nursing as your preceptor. And you have to work days that you are not working at that facility. So it can be a facility where you work, but you have to do your clinicals on days that you are not on the clock. It's a, it's a must. It's one of the requirements. Yes. So that's how it works. So though it says it, it must be within North Carolina, that's not the case. You can call them. They will do more verification because at the time that I um I have applied, that's what I was told. That if you live outside, it can still be done. And even the entrance exams, in some circumstances, they can let you write the entrance exam from the state that you are in. Provided you go to a community college or, you know, a, an approved school, and you go to their testing center, pay for remote service, and have the exams written. Because they made me go to the exams that I wrote that I filled. I didn't go to that campus, which is three hours away from Concord, where I live. I went to the a, a, a nearby community college and they approved it for me to take it there. And I did take it there, just that I didn't pass because I didn't do enough um, preparation. I think my video is too long. So this is Samson Community College helping you into ADN online program. Check it out. Let me know what you think, if the information that you get matches with what I have put on this video. If not, let me know. I will do an updated version and put the right information. But I believe what I've, I've uh, given you is enough for you to make a decision whether you want to apply to it or not. Okay? So you can use Portage Learning to finish all your other prerequisites that needs to be done. As I've shown you, you know, I've shown you what they were requiring, the prerequisites. All this has to be done, or it's, it's going to be done within the two semester. So if I were you, I'd be smart enough to get it done ahead of time so that you don't feel a lot of pressure in the two semesters that they are using to get the associate. That's just my advice. All right, I hope this... Um, I hope this video is helpful. If it if it is, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, like it, comment, and so YouTube can suggest it to other uh, nursing students or you know nurses who are trying to go back for their RN. All right, adios. I love you. All.